That crash happening around 9.30 this morning on Route 132 in Shrub Oak. A Hummer colliding with the school bus, sending both the drivers, five students, and a passenger in the SUV to the hospital. All right, Fox 5's Richard Giacobbe is live at Westchester Medical Center, where many of the patients are being treated. Richard. Steve Natasha, those five students were brought here to Westchester Medical Center, thankfully without life-threatening injuries. But it was a scary morning nonetheless after those students were on a school bus. And when that school bus collided with that Hummer, it was a head-on collision. And people were pretty shaken up. The side of what was once an intact yellow school bus is now a heap of twisted metal. Towed away from Route 132 in Yorktown this afternoon, so was the black Hummer. I hear a big explosion. It sounded like I thought it was a bomb. It went Phew. Five children on the bus reported to be off the bus uninjured, driver unconscious. It was just before 9.30 this morning when the crash startled Carmela Pervisi. She ran outside and saw the bus with five students on board, so she called her son Daniel to help. We got the door open. And uh, just talking her through it, she was scared. She was like mentioning a fire, just, just saying, oh, no, it's not going to happen. Don't worry. You'll be right out of here. Don't worry. All right, we're going to get you. One sec. Calm down. That's Daniel trying to pry open the driver's side door to reach the bus driver moments after the crash. As he tried to help, police arrived and began getting the students off the bus. The kid I saw, the girl, her face was all bloody. Probably was from a nosebleed and got everywhere, but they seemed all okay. Yorktown police say that the female bus driver suffered minor injuries. Carmela, who's lived along Route 132, which runs over the Taconic State Parkway, calls the road dangerous. She's written letters to the New York State Department of Transportation asking officials to put in hazard lights or install a crosswalk to make the busy road safer. So I call it the debt trap. So we need to do something, but this was the worst, and I, this is just a sign it could get worse. And this could have been a lot worse. Again, the Lakeland Central School District confirming that those students and the bus driver were taken here to Westchester Medical Center for examination and treatment. As for Yorktown police, they are still investigating how the crash happened and just what went wrong behind the wheel of that Hummer. We're live tonight in Westchester Medical Center in Valhalla, Richard Giacobbe, Fox 5 News, Natasha. All right.